Well, you know, you can look at all these American fridges and they're okay. They're, they're sort of just, they're, they become ugly. Aesthetics is part of a kitchen as well. Sub-Zero are, are beautiful looking fridges, but they're also practical fridges. They're deep, they've got lovely deep doors, you can get a whole bank of stuff in the doors if you want. Efficient, they hold their temperatures well right down to the temperatures we want, and we want to go under five usually. I mean, most housewives do five to eight, but we try and get under five. Um, they're easy to clean, the shelves come out easily, they're all movable, you can adjust them very easily, there's no set places for shelves, it's, it's good chef stuff. And the beauty now for me, in the next kitchen I do, and it won't be long, I'm going to have a big unit like that, and either side I'm going to have a bank of drawers. Refrigerated drawers are the new future, because it's so easy, you can have them basically, you can be really paranoid and have them all labelled, veg, dairy, fish, meat, but chefs love drawers. Easy to clean, you know exactly where everything is without rummaging around the fridge. Great stuff. The thing is, I'm a chef, but I'm also a father and a husband, so I want the best of both worlds. I want something that's going to be practical in the household, but work to my specifications. Chefs generally love to cook fast, but there are times when we like to cook really slowly. And the beauty of Wolf is it's got fierce power, and it's also got delicate simmering. So you can do something really slow. Slow cooking is quite trendy at the moment. Nice slow casserole on the top there with just a simmer burning and it's beautiful temperature. You can, I understand, I haven't done it myself, but I understand you could put a piece of paper there and a piece of chocolate on top of the paper and it would melt. It would be beautiful. I think the thing is, I mean, I've had Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances for eight years now probably. Uh, I've got them in Spain, three lots of fridges, hob, ovens. I've got them at home. So I've got a big hob unit, I've got two double ovens, I've got the big wine fridge, the drawer, banks of drawers. I'm a big fan. So you don't even have to say, go on, tell us nice things, because I'm saying nice things because I believe it. It, 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 is, it is a brilliant bit of kit. Well, we've got a wolf hob in the background here. The dials are very good. You just turn them on, they instantly come into life. You don't have to hold them there like some cookers you do. You just push in, turn it on, and it ignites itself. But the beauty is that the wonderful variance of temperature. So you can get really hot, we can get a real simmer, and in between, obviously. Um, I just find they're, they're very, very good for chefs and housewives alike. I would use this equipment in a restaurant, possibly mainly for backup, because chefs tend to like solid tops. But for economy, economies of power, now power is expensive, I want my chefs to turn the gas off when they're not using it. Now, if they've got a solid top, we call it a range, solid top range, they leave it on all day. That gas is burning, burning, burning. One of these, you can turn it off, you can see it, and yeah, I would definitely use it. Solid enough, wonderful heavy-duty cast iron grids there take the weight of any sort of pan, the griddle and the char, sort of char grill burner, very, very powerful, very hot, but you're also controllable, so you could do eggs on there, you could do bacon, you could do some American pancakes, very adaptable, very good stuff. Now, the ovens, I'm not a technical, in fact, I'm a technophobe, but actually really easy to understand, very powerful. I love the cleaning facility. You push the cleaning button, you can't get the oven open until it's finished because it's so hot. And when, when you go in there, all you're left with is a little pile of dust, which you take out with a dustpan. The place is spotless, the oven's spotless. But again, you've got a baking, a roasting, convection. You've got lots of facilities there, the timing's good. Um, I can't think of any, any downside really, a good wide, you can get a really good piece of beef, get an old suckling pig in there, a really big turkey, great width on those ovens. But I'm getting old now, I have to have uh, 
head chest height at least, or ideally head height. Uh, I don't want to be bending down anymore. It's got to be built in for me.